news overnight over the weekend as Canada and the U.S. negotiators reach the NAFTA deal. Dollar CAD much lower. Been down to uh, third twenty-one. No shit, thirteen. Wow. We closed at 06. Uh, we gapped open to. I don't know, you could have hit probably 72s if you were quick. Uh, the open, down to 13. Cad Yen also. Ridiculous. I feel a little bit jaded about this. Uh, prices on Friday, we had strong Canadian, um, strong, strong Canadian, or stronger than expected Canadian GDP release. The way the price was moving towards the end of the day, you could see that some positive news was due to be reached, and we were looking at, uh, we have been looking at this one twenty-eight ninety level for weeks. We were fifteen points away. Uh, should have had some sort of dollar cat short on. I don't know why. Maybe I was just too tired. Or, but here we are. I don't know what to do with it now. Um, we're definitely not going to chase this. There's going to be some sort of buy the rumor, uh, sell the fact embedded into this now. Um, although on the positive side, crude is um, up through the year's highs. So this also, um, you know, it's going to be helpful for Canada, where the crude so strong. Anyway, moving on, Euro is lower on basic dollar buying, stocks are higher today. We'll be looking at these uh, BTPs, pretty big tail on Friday, and we didn't get through this magic. 122.26, but we do believe this is happening this week. We're sellers of BTPs today uh, between 125 and 126. We don't think this Italian story is over. Um, as we mentioned on Twitter, we, you know, this is just, we'll take the path of a typical Italian story, long, windy, complicated, and um, kind of a fuck up, so. We'll be sellers of BTPs on rallies today to uh, add to core shorts. Cable, we got this uh, Tory meeting. It's held up pretty well, considering, I guess. I mean, yesterday, as we expect, uh, Friday, as we expected, it went lower. Kind of holding up here. Uh, her big speech is Wednesday, if I read correctly. Um, but while these nitwits are like arguing with each other and and uh, you know running around in circles, it can't be too positive uh, for Sterling. Um, nothing to do here at one thirty twenty six, uh, but you might consider selling high ones up at seventy six today. But you got to keep your uh, got to keep your eye on the headlines. Aussie and Kiwi. These probably should go higher now. Um, stocks are higher. Cat is higher. I'm not sure why we're just sitting here. I want to digest this chart a little bit before I dive in or whatever. It, it, it's, I'm a little bit surprised that both of these pairs um, have done nothing in the Asian session. So, but we will be looking to probably buy these at the open. I need to I need to give it a little more thought. As you can see, I'm not full of ideas this morning. A little bit jaded with the CAD price action. Should have made some money off of that. So I'm I'm happy just to, to sit step back for for maybe the morning session and uh, reassess things and look at things. Be happy to play in the BTP space. That's been going pretty well for us. Um, and the rest of it is kind of wait and see. Surprised, like I said, this Aussie 
and the Kiwi complex isn't stronger. So if you look at stocks also, up at 29.34, pretty robust hourly move there three hours ago. Um, traded up to 36. Aussie and Kiwi should be higher. Um, but they're not, and we're not uh, taking a big bet here, but we will be watching this closely. As soon as the strong ideas come to play, I will uh, let you guys know via Twitter. Uh, for now, it's more of a watch, wait and see, drink some coffee, uh, Monday morning kind of session. Good luck out there, people. Have an amazing October trading month, and we will talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.